Good morning. It's Saturday at 12.30 p.m. And it's really dark because it's raining. I want to talk about the Eros tour real quick because I recently went to the Eros tour and have a few bracelets on and it was such a magical evening. It's been three days since I went and it doesn't feel like it. it still feels very present in my mind which is so good because it was a wonderful experience it made me so happy like my favorite moments were just clapping and screaming for taylor and seeing her you know smile and be so happy about it and kind of humble and yeah champagne problems was definitely one of my favorite performances and all too well 10 minutes version of course because everyone around me was screaming with me we all knew the lyrics to the whole song and it was so great anyway so the weekend has started and actually if you already know me you know i suffer from severe depression right now and this week has been very difficult and I yesterday on Friday I was so scared that I'm gonna be alone on the weekend like not having professional help around me but right now I feel okay about it and I kind of feel I feel warm and comfortable right now but I want to get some things done today and I feel like I have the energy too which is good so I want to tidy up both my art studio and my bedroom. So that's what I'm going to be doing in the next few seconds of this vlog. Later today, I'm going to meet my boyfriend, which is really nice. I'm, I'm happy about it because I haven't seen him in a few days. And yeah, I actually started drawing Taylor yesterday evening. And the, prof the proportions of her face aren't perfect yet but i really love this evermore dress that she wore the green is such a beautiful color it's one of my favorite memories from that night so i definitely want to um hold on to that feeling a bit more and draw it and then put it on my wall i don't know what wall yet because in my bedroom i'm gonna see it more often than in my art studio but yeah i'll definitely work on that but also I think I'm gonna vlog the whole week, like the weekend and then maybe until Friday because I want to get back into reading. And I was thinking there is this kind of challenge that I had for myself a few years ago where I read one book a week. But I think since I haven't finished a whole book in like two years, um, that's not really gonna work. I'm just gonna put pressure on myself so I think my goal is to read for 20 minutes every day and see how it goes so yeah let's start tidying up my rooms I totally forgot to show you my Eros tour uh, merch that I bought it's this hoodie don't ask how much it cost it cost a lot but I'm gonna wash it now slay I think my art studio is never gonna be done in my opinion like I need more art on this wall I need more art on this cup, cup. I don't know the name girl next step 
tidying up my bedroom. Oh my god. Bleh. Exhausted again. I'll chill for a bit and then look for books I can read. Hello again. I just looked for all the books that I've started reading in the past few months, and that's it. Let's go through them and then decide on a book that I want to keep reading. This is a German book um, written by a person who suffered from depression herself. And actually my mom read it to kind of understand what I'm going through. And I started reading it like only a few pages as I was taking a bath like a week ago. And it's a lot. She also deals with an eating disorder which I'm not um, but I'm not sure if I want to read it if if it's like the best thing for me to do right now so I'm gonna say no I'm not gonna read that this week the next book is also in German about trauma and it's non-fictional and I started reading it maybe four to five months ago and I definitely want to read it at some point, but I don't think it's good to read it right now. So, no. Then, then I started reading Before the Coffee Gets Cold, and it's in English. And I don't really remember how much I read and what was going on. But it's pretty short, which would be good. It has how many pages? 200. So I'll definitely consider reading this. Then back in October of last year, I visited London and found this book, Notes on Heartbreak. Back then I was still heartbroken over my ex. And yeah, I crocheted this bookmark without any tutorial. It was supposed to be a dog, but you cannot really tell i think i was in the middle of it and maybe i'm gonna finish it because i'm on page 213 and the book has 400 pages so maybe i'll finish this another book i started reading is i want to die but i want to eat i don't want to pronounce it and it was conversations with a therapist and it I don't think it really helped me. I want to read it at some point, but I think now's not the time. And the last book that I started reading is You Exist Too Much. I borrowed it from a friend of mine. I forgot what page I was on. I remember, I think the protagonist is going to this kind of therapy thing for people with love addiction or something and i don't really feel like reading it right now so it'll be a no for me so now i have these two books and i think i'm not really in the mood for heartbreak right now because i'm not heartbroken anymore so i'm gonna read this for 20 minutes every day and let's see how far i can get in a week <music>
Good evening. I came home about an hour ago and I really enjoyed the time I spent with my boyfriend today and we had really good conversations and important conversations and our communication is just so good and I just told my bestie about it and they said it's re really kind of impressive that I start difficult conversations about something that bothers me right away and I was like well I cannot help it if something is on my mind and really bothers me I just have to kind of try and fix the misunderstanding or whatever it is right away so I feel better about it and they said it's still such a good character traits well, that's not really how they phrased it but it still made me happy and it showed me that i've come so far and my self and my character development is kind of you know there and that made me happy anyway i only read a few pages today and i think i spent like 10 minutes reading so there's another 10 minutes left that i'm gonna be spending reading was that english i don't know i'm pretty tired i'm gonna remove my makeup now and then read a few more pages of my book that i started yeah and then i'll sleep I'm gonna see my friend Lara in a bit and I'm gonna pack my bag now. Stress ball, I need that just in case. Then some pearls because she wants to make a necklace. Tissues, my glasses. Like, yeah, I think that's it. I'm not gonna take my book with me because I guess I'm not gonna read on the way, so yeah, that's it. Bye. <laughs> for 20 minutes day two it was so hard to concentrate Did I forget to film yesterday? Yes. Did I read? Yes. Did I forget to film today? Yes. Did I forget to read? Yeah, but I still have time. So I'm now gonna spend some time reading, guys. <laughs> Was such an exhausting.
interesting day and I just want to chill. There's this public viewing of Princess Charming today and I'm not gonna go although I want to but I feel like the past few days have been too much I think so I just have to chill for a bit and I'll stay home and read of course and I want to finish my drawing. I think the progress of my therapy is going up a bit but I am so overwhelmed and kind of pissed and I do have more energy. I did have more energy today but I was filled with anger because of a thing that happened that I'm not gonna talk about right now but yeah it's it's a lot doing therapy all day obviously so I'll just take things slow from now on go to the right side Ich fühle und mich in deiner Gegenwart und deiner Energie sehr wohl fühle. Roller Coaster, aber ich habe sie noch ungekannt sehen. Also das kann ich nicht sagen. I was oh my god, am I bleeding? Shit. Anyway, I crocheted for hours and I didn't get that much done, but I'll continue tomorrow and I'm pretty tired already but I'm gonna try and read some some pages yes we only 20 minutes right I'll do another time lapse I'm finally having a good day today. Oh my god! I made a scrunchie today. Ooh. Look at it! It's so cute. It's so cute. I spent time with one of my besties because it's her birthday. And now I'm home alone. Finally. And I feel like doing nothing but my room looks a mess. Again. I'm not gonna film it because the video is already so long but I think I'm gonna um, finish this vlog today I'll now read and yeah I guess I'll see you next week or something thank you for watching I hope you're all doing okay I'm doing okay right now this week has been tough but I feel like things will get better soon and that's such a nice thing to say, to hear come out of my mouth. Bye-bye!